this is going to be a quick tip tutorial on how to create a match shadow match shadow means creating the shadow rendering the shadow of the object with the alpha channel and getting rid of the object that's behind so we can replace it in something like artifact like that so let's go into it in our my file we have a simple scene we have two lights one two we have camera we have background we have a donut let's look through our camera this is what the camera view looks like let's render this out this is how it looks okay we check the alpha channel this is how the alpha channel looks so the whole thing comes as a single alpha but what we want to do is we want to replace this object in after effects on you on the as well. let's start doing that first let's save this file in uh, v-ray so we can compare it to our new work when we are done in Maya 2017 it's slightly different because it has a new setup for doing render layers this is called the uh, render setup window ok let's, let's do our thing let's create a layer this is our donut, donut and what we need to do is we need to get rid of this orange color background but we still need the reflections and the bounce light that's coming from the orange color background and also we need to extract these shadows so we can composite it um, in somewhere else in pass. let's create a collection first we need we need all the geometry in it because we see it on the like we need all the geometry that's in our scene let's bring in all geo let's just add like a uh, asterisk so we get all the geo in it let's create another layer sorry another collection this is the flow done and let's drag and drop the flow into the collection area we right click the flow and click create shade override let's 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 name it not shadow that's what the name used to be now override shader we click on this uh, texture icon let me select vray material wrapper in the material wrapper we have it's asking for something called a base material so the base material should be the original shader of the flow so let's open up the hyper shader drag and drop the flow on the base done now in the material wrapper we have to do some changes first select the matte surface reduce the alpha contribution by minus one turn on shadows and affect alpha so we have our old render let's render our scene this is our render and this is our alpha so we got the object and we got the got its shadow as well and also we got all the nice reflections and if we compare our old render with the new one we can see there's no change of the object we're just getting rid of the orange color background and that's how you do a material wrapper in V-Ray with Maya 2017